Hello and welcome to another 10 song uh, company stream VTuber obviously As always, uh, this is Anna, Lia, Miyu, Pico, uh, Pico, Shino, Kula, Lee, Ina and uh, maybe I forgot that there is more But this is Waktor, uh, which is a really cool company name I love saying it, Waktor uh, Discovered them recently when um, I believe it was uh, Shino that collab with Selen, I believe and also, more recently, we pushed Sensei, and that's kind of how I discovered Waktar. And uh, yeah, they're pretty big, and they have songs, so then song stream makes sense, I guess. So, as always, if you're watching the vote, there's thumbs in the description for the original. Uh, no, so you can skip to the video you want with the link to the original video. And uh, yeah, as always, thanks for watching the stream. Let me open the chat on my phone. <coughs> Alright. As always, I will start by looking at the Virtual YouTuber Wiki page, if there's any uh, good info to get there. Alright, the tweet is out. Okay, well, uh, so Waktor Production, also known as Waktor, is a Japan-based agency of YouTubers managed by a company of the same name. Since 2019, Waktor has expanded toward Chinese streaming on Bilibili. On July 21st, uh, on July 2021, uh, their Waktor talent presented themselves to Spanish-speaking audience. Okay. Uh, background. Okay, this we can skip. There's a lot of background. Members. Uh, founding generation. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah, they have a lot of members, so I'm not going to actually go through everything. Yeah, they have a lot of that. Uh, defunct units, alright. But they have a lot of cool design. Yeah. Okay, maybe I missed it, but okay, there's a lot of terminating. Uh, retired. I'm trying to find literally the only one I know. Oh, here we go, Shino Leila. Okay, okay, yeah. Uh, there's a lot of them, so I'm not gonna read all of their page. I think, you know, that's gonna be enough, except if one really interests me. But we'll get into the song. Uh, so, yeah, here we go. So as always, I try to get a song from uh, as much people as I can. I will say I made this place weeks ago, so I don't remember the details, but maybe some of them didn't have song. I tried, I think, yeah, for the most part, we have song from different people. Maybe like Shino has two, I see Leah has two. But uh, yeah, as always, I try to get a good grab so, of everything. So we're starting with the Kari Kiber cover by Anatsukito. Let's see. Uh, Venom, okay, okay, here we go. From December 4th, 2019. So, 63,000 uh, 63, subs. And that's Yeah, that's right. They, they seem to really. I mean, I guess I try to appeal to the Spanish market, which is interesting. That's a new thing. Cute voice so far. Oh, that's not too nice. Very cute and gentle voice. Good art as always for Kari Kibia cover, I'm not surprised. The first cover, okay. Yeah, and the comment is predominantly uh, Spanish comments. It is interesting. I guess they seem pretty big, so I'm gonna assume that they are trying to appeal to the Spanish market worked out, right? I don't really know the detail. Like, if they speak, they all speak Spanish or anything like that. Cute is the most I can say. Cute, gentle voice. She doesn't feel like someone who could really sing, sing, I. She's good at this kind of low level type of singing. A bit like whispering singing. But not a bad voice. Not crazy, but not a bad voice. Uh, 
Alright, uh, Kevin Kibbert, song always very fun. Always great visuals. So, so she is, uh, I believe, the uh, Anna Tsukito. No, okay, as you say, I believe she is the beginning, but no. The beginning is Mizuki Ryu. Okay, we do have a song for her. Debut date 2018. Okay, the Yoji. Yeah. It is a bit of a problem with the same song strings. Like, I set it up to be within an hour, as this is the time I have. So I can't really spend too much time when there's a lot of numbers checking at every page. I feel a bit bad, because it might appear the stream is a bit rushed, but my time, time frame is 10 songs within an hour. Yeah, it is our set it up. Okay, well, uh, cute and pleasant cover. Nothing crazy once again, but you know, not bad is the best I can say, not bad. Alright, well, good introduction. Next we have Lia Mitsurugi. Um, this is a Rocky cover, which Rocky is one of my favorite songs. Alright, well, here we go. Favorite song to see cover from. So yeah, Lia has an absolutely awesome design. Yeah, yeah, I really like her design. The red and black mix. It's really cool. I guess I can always look up later. Cheap voice too. Familia, you can see the name. Oh, interesting. The illustrator is the same as uh, Shizuka Lin and uh, Ian Agamudi. Alright. I definitely don't, don't see the resemblance, but hey. Yeah, she's pretty big, over 100,000 too. I guess I forgot to open a page of comparison. She sounds cute. Obviously a bit more power than the previous singer. Yeah, they have... We have three members of our 100,000. Not bad. The ambitious. Sounds great, not the most in your face loud rocky cover. It does feel like the mixing. Our voice isn't popping up as much in the front as uh, the usual rocky cover. But it's not bad, it does sound good. She has a good voice, too. Yeah. I like it. But I love rocky, so. Yeah. Except if you really fuck up your cover, I'm gonna like the cover. So we have a rocky cover from like a YouTuber with like 10 subscribers, you know? It's like their 10th video or something. They have better view quality, but still, I enjoy it. Still, I'm not saying that's in a way to, you know, show that. I, I'm not critical about stuff. That's not the case. I can look at this objectively and say this is good. Very fun. As always with the rookie color. I do really like her character design. 
That's in the app, she was different, but yeah. Really, that is so fun cover. Yep, yep, yep. This is, this is nice. Okay, okay, okay. Well, not the craziest voice, but good at singing, for sure. Alright, so next we have an original song, first original song by um, uh, Miyu Izuki, the original member. So this is a cappella art, song composition, 40 MP. Alright, alright. Well, um, here we go, here we go. What is that for original song? June 22nd, 2020. Korean, okay. Sure. Okay. A bit starts, definitely. Cute voice too. I guess I should have been surprised. Seems to be the trend so far between all of them. Cute design. Not the most standard to me, but cute. I like the arm glove, if that makes sense. You know, that they are not attached to the shoulder exposed. I don't know what you call that, like arm glove, yeah, that's the only thing I can think of. Very a bit, very pleasant feeling so far. Cute singing, too, once again. Not like extremely, you know, cute, but cute. I want you to, you to uh, invent a glass where you can drink and move your head at the same time. That would be perfect for me. I had breaking the reason when I had to drink. Not a lot of people have told me, like, you know, why you had banging even to songs that are not metal and stuff like that. It's not always, you know, extremely banging, like right now it's just moving my head along. I don't know, it's literally. I don't do it on purpose, it's just, yeah, I just, I do it, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, this is the way I feel music, yeah. I mostly do it too even when I'm not on camera, you know? Yeah. Yeah, really nice, nothing crazy, but really nice feeling. About it. But just yeah, it feels like a normal classic fun poppy song. Yeah, it doesn't sound that in any way, but it's competent and fun. Yeah. And you know, I don't have the lyrics, but I think it's pretty obvious that that too would be uh, after some description. I don't use the word unoriginal because I think most people say it in a negative way. I, you know, if, when I think of it, I don't always think of it in a negative way. It's to me, you know, a lot, if not a lot, quite a lot of things are unoriginal, and that's not a problem, you know. It can be good nonetheless. But, you know, I don't want to have to explain every time. You know, this time I mean it in you know, a not especially like unpositive way or this time it in an unpositive way, you know. Yeah. Oof, that's a lot of trivia. Bad Minton and Roman. Okay, so she also by the same designer as uh, Lia, so the same as Rin and Mugin. Interesting. 
interesting. People seem to compare to Fubuki, thinking she's a sister, look wise. I don't say it, but alright. Shortest endurance stream lasted 30 seconds. Let's go. Yeah, I don't see the Fubuki resemblance too much here. Yeah. Okay, well. Um, good song. Very happy vibes. Yeah, that's nice. Nothing crazy once again, but enjoyable for sure. Next, we have something pretty short by uh, Piyoko Kogure. I'm definitely not entirely sure how to pronounce the name because we have E and Y next to each other, so is it? Well, I mean, I guess Piyoko, yeah, that makes sense. Piyoko or Piyoko. Not sure if you have to emphasize the, the letter or not, but yeah. Uh, self introduction song. Okay, maybe that was a mistake. If this is like, uh, you know, the, the VTuber introduction classic, this doesn't really count for a 10 song stream, but I'm not gonna change the place now. Here we go. Yeah, okay, well. Oh no, okay. Okay, it's different. I thought it sounded just first. Yeah. Alright. She has a unique voice, it's the first thing I'm gonna say. Cute too, because of course. But it sounds out. The design is out. Not bad too. I mean, big blue voice, so it's nice, but. She has an interesting design too. She does have a unique voice, I don't know why or how to describe it, but there is something to it. Yeah, she has some kind of smugness in her face. Not extreme, but still. Cute, I mean, it's the most against her, but this too. As always. Anyone watch one of my reviews, they know what my review will be every time. Cute. Or oh, very cute. And yeah, it is. Yeah, this was nice. Nothing crazy, once again. But very cute, yeah. Um, very cute. Okay, now the bad first introduction. I mean, obviously you, you can see that I'm, being, I'm subscribed to all of them, but you know, when I make this playlist, I subscribe right away, you know. I don't wait for the stream to subscribe. But yeah, 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 doesn't matter that much. So next we have Anat Sukito. And we have... Finger Cutting Bean Bun Magitsuki Os Asang. Okay. Alright, whatever that is, here we go. November 10th, 2020. Uh, Anatsukito. Gen 1. Cute design. Not too much my thing though. Okay, not any info. Dev debuted on 11th of November 2019. So I guess this covers like one year anniversary. I think you probably know what I'm going to say already. Good voice. Kind of like uh, Anatsukito. Low volume, if that makes sense. I do like the giant ears though. Not the biggest fan of pink hair, but I do like the giant ears. Okay, really good. Interesting chorus. Unique song too. Is it a violin?
She does also have a kind of smug look. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Really good beat to the song. It does, yeah, I think what's unique is where it is. It has a bit like more of a hype song, but it's still a very chill song. And it feels like she could rap over it, but obviously it's singing, not rapping. So it's, it's unique in this way, it's an interesting mix. Uh, hello, Epilogue. How are you doing? Let's see, in the end, very sweet, calming voice. Another one, I guess, is how I can put it. Yeah, we love the beats for this one. Uh, really beautiful voice, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I really love this, you know, whispering, singing style. Where well, it's really low level, but uh, it's very like, yeah, kind of like a lullaby before going to bed. Yeah, yeah this is underrated too, only 5,000 views. Um, really, really good cover. Feels like a lullaby. Yeah, this was really nice. This was really nice. Okay, well, I'm also sold on Anasugizo. That's for sure. Next we have... Um, okay, some more Liam Isologi, which should be good. This is Oh Jong Song, uh, Astrola, Astrolab or Astrolabe. I'm not really sure of the pronunciation. This is from March 3rd, 2021. Okay. Pretty hype. Always hype for Oh Jong Song. Here we go. Alright. Beautiful sky, full of stars. Yeah, Astrolabe or Astrolab. I mean, Astrolab is, how, I guess I would pronounce it in French, so probably Astrolabe, but I'm not sure. Alright. Beautiful art. I mean, it's only one song comparison, but um, I do feel like uh, singing got much better. It's the same style, obviously. But it's much more control, if that makes sense. She still sounds really beautiful. Probably less cute than the previous one. This one is really like, beautiful. Yeah. Really good so far. She does. She can go pretty high pitched, which is impressive. Creating the future. I like it. It has, you know, that feel of that type of song. Where, uh, I mean, I guess, yeah, like, uh, not an anime opening or ending, but like, uh, you know, an answer song. A beautiful answer song for, like, emotional moment. That's the kind of feel I get from this. Yeah, it's really nice, though. It's really nice. It is interesting so far. Each time we see her in art, she looks different from her actual look. Which is a really top tier character, isn't it? Let's see if I can get some full picture. Okay, so yeah, no. 
I guess she has a white version. Okay, okay. I just assume, yeah. Just the art, she always had like whiter version, but no. Okay. I mean, I think the whiter version looks good, but the black and red is my favorite color. Two of my favorite colors. Well, the top two. And favorite color combination. So yeah, the design on the left is my favorite. Yeah. Beautiful though, really beautiful song. Emotional, for sure. It's always weird when he can't find the thing in English comments. Alright. Well, yeah, beautiful. Yeah, I guess that's literally all I will write. Beautiful. That makes sense to me. Yeah, that was really awesome going to my playlist. Let's see. Um, let's find the playlist. Um, where is it? Okay, I'll do it later. I won't waste time on the stream. I forgot, I think I forgot to, um, what's the comment on the previous one? No, no, I did, I did. Okay, so yeah, Astrolab, Astrolab, very good. So next we have the first one from Shino. Uh, Shino Leila, once again, the one that introduced me to Waktor and when she had a collab with Selen and then recently pushed Sensei. Uh, so this is Chiquita, Spanish covered by Shino Leila. So yeah, obviously they really appeal to the Spanish audience. Once again, I don't actually know if they speak it, but um, yeah, it's going to be cool to see a cover like this. Probably going to be unique. So yeah, here we go. Oh, English, all right. She has a really nice design. All right. I mean, obviously, I'm not Spanish. So I can't really say, but I say anyway that a pronunciation sounds great. From, you know, the time I was Spanish, it sounds similar. But yeah, obviously, I have no idea. Impressive because it also kind of sounds like a, a bit of operatic singing. Not fully, but a bit. Really beautiful ones, for sure. And yeah, we'll see this is a unique. This is probably the first time I see a Vichy Burst Spanish cover. Yeah. Yes, the other Spain is, you know, we say live in France, so it's like a neighboring country. And, uh, my brother went to, to buy some stuff because it's cheaper there and he bought me like 300 uh, monster energy because it's cheaper there so I have like literally a human size stack of uh, monster energy from Spain sounds good sounds good surprising color obviously but I like it Really beautiful voice. I definitely like to hear what she can do with, you know, a Japanese singing, where she's probably more comfortable. But I might say she's the best singer so far. Not sure, but really impressed. It's a good thing we have another song to check out for her. But if I'm not wrong, it might be another Spanish cover. I guess simply with the Japanese cover, I'd be more like, you know, familiar, yeah. Uh, yeah, Espanol cover. Is there a difference between Espanol and Spanish? I mean, 
in my Spanish is just that you call, you know, Espanol in English, and Espanol is that you would call Espanol in Spanish. <laughs> does that make sense? No. Yeah. I mean, for us French, we call Spain España, and the people Espanol. Yeah. Sick, sick as hell, okay. Yeah, but a very cute design. Yeah. Alright. She's also. Yeah, one of the biggest of over 100,000. She likes romantic manga. Everything is blended milk. Okay. Ice cream. She's bad with spicy things. Um, she doesn't mind being called old. Okay. She loves money, say. Okay. Well. Interesting. Before she came to this world, she lived in the same. Magical world is cute chan. Quite a cute. Yeah, okay. Are they by the same designer? Affiliation, illustration. I guess we can check if I go to. Um, Qualia's page. That's interesting. No, okay. It's not the same character designer, okay. Interesting though, that they would say they're from the same world or something. Damn, she's very cute. Okay, this is nice. This is unique for me, obviously. Yeah. Um, this was really nice. Yeah, definitely unique. Probably the first time I had a VTuber Spanish cover or something. Yeah, or even just a cover in general in Spanish. That's nice though. So next we have uh, by Kunali Rose, Mi Burrito Sabanero uh, cover. So yeah, let's see what she can do. Alright. The art is very cute. Oh, Padaru Padaru. Hello. It's been a while. How are you? I'm gonna read in my head a bit the uh, history because I'm actually interested about the Spanish side of the uh, stuff. I'm busy this week. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, 2021. January and February, Wachter Talent began expanding towards Spanish speaking fan base, which caused a sudden huge in subscriber numbers. Okay. Okay, interesting. Nice song, yeah, very cute. Very cute. Damn, that's a design. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, Demon Queen. Oh, sick of this movie. Very cute, very cute color. Once again, I guess from what I just read, I'm gonna assume that actually most of them don't speak Spanish, more they can sing it. I don't think from what I've read once again that they were originally recruited for that. It's probably something they decided at some point. And I mean, it's a huge market, so 
It's not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. This is very, very cute. Yeah. Most of what we've seen so far was either cute or beautiful. Let's see what the comments are saying. Oh, not working. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Well, whatever. I, I assume they're gonna say something positive. Yeah, this was very cute. Very cute. Um, is all I'm gonna say. Yeah. I mean, because that's all I can say. Very cute. Top tier. Next, we have another Shino Leila Spanish cover. This is a... Uh, okay, refresh. This is... Uh, Equivocada. Espanol cover for version by Shino Leila. Here we go. More Leila should be good. Yeah. Obviously she speaks English as to the same column. Oh. This time translation works. Okay, I mean, not surprised, just like nice comments and support, support more comments. I really like your character design. It is a simple witch character design, but it's very, very nice looking. Very equity. In France, you have a boy in high school, which we do call college. You have two choices of language, second language, uh, third actually, because second is English, and that's mandatory. You have two choices, which is uh, Italian or Spanish, which is obviously the two of kind of neighboring country to an extent. I chose Italian, but you know, I didn't really do anything at school, I just chose for the sake of it. But yeah, I think most people actually chose Spanish. It was pretty like, uh, at the summer school, pretty, uh, it was like, Five people, I think, choose Italian, and then twenty choose uh, Spanish. Yeah, I don't need to be tell you that obviously I would have wished there was Japanese. I would have actually tried to learn them. I was already into anime and manga, so yeah. Porque siempre estuve equivocada y no lo quise ver porque yo por ti la vida estaba porque no lo quise acabar porque nunca tuve más razones para esa cine porque aquí está toma decisiones porque sé que va a doler. I do like simple cover like that for the music video. Just a model and a singing. She has a lot of movement and facial expressions, so it works. Beautiful. I'd definitely be interested like, if there's any uh, Spanish people watching the vote of uh, my reaction to this. What do you think of our pronunciation? Well, not just her, but the other two, if you can tell me. I'd be interested. Oh, Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa 900. How are you doing? Alright, well, pretty beautiful. 
Yeah, definitely. Really beautiful color. Obviously, don't know the song, but you know, doesn't matter. Most of the time I check color, I don't know the song. I can say it's beautiful anyway. That's nice. All right, and then the final one, which is very short. Uh, only a minute and 10 seconds. This is Trackmaker covered by Ina Misola. Okay, here we go. From September 22, so about a month ago. She cute. Extremely short cover, not even. Okay. First thing I'm gonna say that seems pretty obvious is that the mixing is fucked. Our voice is too low. It does sound like she can sing and all that, so I don't think it's, you know, on purpose because, you know, they want to hide our voice. Yeah. Okay, I do know this song now. She sounds cute, but yeah, you can barely hear her. It's a bit weird. It's a bit weird. Oh, it seems like maybe there's a comment about it. It's my first video for a song, so I'm not sure how to adjust the volume. Okay, okay, so she mixed herself. Okay, I'm surprised. I'm surprised. I mean, they seem like a, you know, they're all pretty big and they seem like a company, so I'm surprised that she did this herself. I didn't really check out the others, like, I didn't usually check out, but yeah. I guess there's no cr credits. So I can only assume they did it themselves, so then even more respect for everything. And yeah, I guess that, you know, uh, yeah, understandable if it's her first time and all that. Yeah. I mean, she sounded cute for the little bit I could hear. Anyway, that was the last one. Um, let's see. Even though I can't hear your voice too much, I'm looking for one to hear more. Yeah, okay. So, not the craziest. Um, not the craziest, you know, final song, I would say, for a stream, but still, very positive stream. I liked everything. Um, most, the one, the two I like the most is uh, definitely Shino and uh, Lia uh, Mitsurugi. But everybody had good voice for the most part, so yeah, yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. I hope to see Wakuto a bit more, uh, so I can see them in clip and stuff like that, but yeah, that was good. As always, thank you everybody for watching. Um, yeah. Uh, it's so funny, Gundo Sensei yesterday during a Genshin stream, she discovered a bug in the game even with screenshot erotic photo session. Okay, okay. Padulu Padulu, Azure Project Remix. Um, what? I'm not taking requests, Padulu Padulu. This was just like a, a stream like this for something I already prepared. But yeah, once again, thank you for watching the stream. Um, as always, there will be a link in the description for all the songs, so, you know, if you liked anything and you're not already a fan of Vector, well, definitely go to their channel and check them out. And uh, yeah, positive experience. Uh, my next stream is in a couple of hours. This is just song request reaction stream. So as always, I'll see you there. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And as always, see you next time. What's the